Good morning. Today we are going to see how we can manage um, our hard drive on Windows operating system like Windows XP, Windows 7. So, uh, how to start computer management? Just uh, right click on my computer and uh, click on manage. Uh, it will open a window. Here you have to select uh, disk management. On clicking disk management, it will open another window. Here you can see how many hard drives are connected to your computer and uh, how many partitions each hard drive is currently having. So in this PC, right now we have two hard drives, disk 0 and disk 1, and both are of type basic. So both are basic disk, and each one is having one partition. Okay. So this one is C drive and D e drive and uh, this space is unallocated space that is free where we can create partitions. So both drive is having free spaces so we can create partitions. So let's start with how we can create partition. Just right click on unallocated space and click on new partition option. It will uh, open a wizard uh, through which you can create partition. So this wizard help you to create partition on a basic disk. Uh, as you must be aware, on a basic disk, we can create three partitions, three types of partitions. That is primary partition, extended partition, and logical DOS drives or logical drives within extended partition. Uh, what a physical uh, basic disk is, it is a physical disk that contains primary partition, extended partition, and logical drives. Just click on next button. It will show you uh, the next wizard. Here you can see three options are there, physical partition, uh, primary partition, extended partition and logical drive. Logical drive is right now disabled because it can be created within extended dot partition and right now we don't have any extended DOS partition. So this option is disabled. So uh, right now we are going to create a primary partition. What a primary partition is, it is given here. A primary partition is a volume that you create using free space on a basic test. So requirement is a basic test. Windows and other operating system can start from a primary partition. So primary partition is generally used to store operating system files or bootable files. You can create up to four primary partitions. So maximum four primary partitions can be created on a hard drive. If you are having two hard drives on a single PC, so you can create eight such partitions, but on a one physical drive, you can create maximum of mm, four primary partition. In case you want to have six partitions, then what you can do, you can create three primary partitions and you can create one extended partition and within extended, you can create uh, lots of uh, logical drives or other model is you can create one primary partition and uh, you can uh, look, uh, specify other space, remaining space to extended partition and then within extended you can create lots of logical drives. Let's have a look how to create primary partition. Here you can assign the amount of space you want to allocate to primary partition. This is the total size uh, available. Here you can specify the space, it is in megabytes. Uh, just specify the space and then click on next. It will open the next wizard. It will automatically assign a new drive letter for your uh, hard disk for the, for the partition you are creating. Uh, if you want, you can choose other drive letters as well. So just select the drive letter and uh, click on next. It will now prompt you to select uh, the file system you want to use. It, it is a drop down menu. Just uh, on clicking this option, it will show you the uh, various file systems like FAT or NDFS. So by default, uh, for a Windows operating system, uh, so XP or higher, it is preferred to have NDFS file system because it is having more features and uh, more hard disk supports, large partition size, long file name support, etc. This is the volume level. That is, you can assign any name to the drive. And next is to, if you can check perform keep format, it will perform the formatting operation faster. Or you can simply uncheck this box 
so it will take more time but it will perform detailed formatting of the drive so just select this and click on next finally it will show you summary so partition time is primary partition uh, which disk which it, it will be created it is this zero partition size is this much what letter it will be assigned that is d to the drive nt file system and quick format is this this is the volume level. allocation unit is the cluster size that we have left to default just finish it once you will finish it it will format this one after few seconds you can see the drive is ready to use this drive is created as well as it is formatted so you can see the, uh, this basic disk is having right now two primary partition you can see the reason this is primary partition and black space is unallocated so let's try to see uh, whether how many partitions primary partition we can create i have created four uh, such primary partitions here one two three and four in a disk just try to create fifth one now see what will happen it will not allow when you when you click on unallocated space it will not allow you to create any more partitions as you already aware that we can create maximum of home primary partition in this scenario you won't be able to use this unallocated space so better idea is to have either three uh, primary partitions and the remaining space should be assigned to extended box partition or you can have one primary and remaining space should be assigned to extended let's have a look how to create extended partition again right click on uh, remove uh, unwanted drives uh, and then right click on uh, create partition option so uh, now you can see extended dos partition what is it so it's an, uh, an extended partition is a portion of master boot record uh, of a basic disk that contains logical drives so basically extended partition is an uh, a space within which we can create logical drives okay so no drive letter will be assigned it won't be formatted okay so uh, here it, that much of space is remaining just allocate all the space available and click next it will simply show you the summary as you compare it with the primary partition there you it, it asks you the drive letter the file system you want to use to format it so neither a drive letter will be assigned nor it will be formatted because it will just create a boundary which is within which we can create logical drives so uh, you can see there are three primary partitions so this is your extended dos partition and uh, we can have uh, another model here you can uh, have one primary partition and other all space is assigned to extended dots partition now this is the free space where we can create logical drives to create logical drive you just need to create uh, right click on the free space and it will show you new logical drive option just click on the new logical drive now you are asked to enter the size you want to allocate to logical drive this is the total available space just specify the space in megabytes and click next it will again assign a by default it will assign a drive letter if you want to have a different drive letter uh, just select it from here the drop down no zone here and click on next <clears throat> now you are prompted to select a file system using which you want to format it just select the file system and click check on perform quick format and then click on next finally you can see uh, here the logical drive is created and f drive letter is assigned now on right clicking on this drive you can see the following option you can change the drive letter you can format it you can delete the logical drive let's have a look how to delete a logical drive just right uh, right click uh, and just right click and uh, click on delete logical drive it will delete the logical drive if you want to delete the extended partition just right click on the extended partition and uh, click on delete partition it will show you masses all data on this volume will be lost just click ok it will delete the partition that's all for now thank you